Okay, I just want to make a quick video about implicit intents. We're not going to spend a lot of time on implicit intents, but they're a good way to get into intents in general. So let's take a look over here at this code where we have a main activity that is creating an intent and calling start activity with that intent. So if we take a look at the layout, get a little preview view going here. We've got a button here that we call the awesome butt and then a different button. Let's take a look at awesome butt. Awesome butt has an on-click listener and it's going to start this activity. What is this activity? <coughs> this activity is an intent that's created as an action view for a URL. And this URL goes from a raw string to a URI, which is an object created by this URI parse function. The rest of this stuff is, is pretty boilerplate. Notice we're not calling find view by ID for the awesome but because we are using Kotlin's uh, extensions where they're going to call find view by ID for us. So find view by ID still gets called. It's just not explicit in our code. Okay, so what does this look like when we run it? We click for awesomeness, and that takes us to a web browser. And why does it take us to a web browser? Because what this implicit intent does is it says, what's implicit about it is that it's not specifying an explicit target. It's just saying to the Android runtime, hey, whoever's good at viewing URIs, uh, send me to them, start their activity. In our case, that's a web browser, and so that's who, that's who we see. Okay, and that's, that's really it. Um, this, this one is, uh, it, this intent is a, a view, action view, um, and this intent is a chooser intent which uh, lets you choose the browser. So it's, you know, it's, it's just, it's just a, sh a sort of variation. But so if we click on this, oh, there's a, sorry, there's no other browser, no other browser installed here. So there's no, there's no choice. Yeah, well, if, if there was another browser, it would have given us a choice. This kind of intent would have given us a choice. The point of, implicit intents is in your phone a lot of times when you click a telephone number it takes you to the phone app Th that's useful if you click an address it takes you to the map app that's useful this is how you get that kind of functionality it's very quick it's very easy um, and the only other thing to notice here you know just sort of some Kotlin stuff this intent action view what is it it's a string so it's a static, uh, it's a class static uh, um, constant, which means it's a, a companion object to intent. So in Kotlin, you can have a companion object. There's only one of them per class, and it lets that class have some data that's associated with the class, not with individual objects or instances of that class. And this is just... Um, standard menu stuff. No, we're not doing anything interesting with the menu. Okay, thanks.